Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel, man. I am reviewing the controversial record, Shaka Laka. 6 9 featuring Kodak Black, man. You know, Kodak Black representing the streets, doing something with 6 9 who they call a rap. You know, let's see if they can make hot music, man. And that is what we are reviewing right here. So stick to around for the review and like and subscribe. See y'all in a bit. Peace. All right, y'all, let's jump straight into this brand new 6 9 Shaka Laka controversial song it's featuring Kodak Black, Yelling Lamaze. So we'll see, this is just the visualizer. So let's hear this song for the first time. Let's go. Oh, you said so? Oh, you on Red Room? Oh, you got it. Hold on. This song does not say featuring Tory Lanez, but it definitely sounds like that is Tory Lanez in the beginning, though. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. We got that classic 6 9 rap flow on this. I've been so used to listening to and hearing the reggaeton version of 6 9 man. This is going like a blast from the past with his old flow coming back into the hip hop game. All right, let's go. Get the drop in the block, get the chop, make it pop. If you see the cops, nigga, shh, don't make it hot. Red dot, green dot, put it on the nigga top. Red light, green light, we always on go, nigga. Stay with a pro, nigga, even on parole, nigga. Shut it, set the low down. One thing about 6ix9ine is he usually makes some real creative hip hop videos. I'm interested to see what he does with this one now that he's coming back into the game and this is kind of a big move for him, man. Let's go. Nigga, how you lose your bitch to a snitch? I'm a one man arm, I ain't never need a click. Like, I okay, y'all know that Kodak is representing the streets, man. It's a big thing that he's doing the song with a rap, but it sounds like he's trying to say that this is just business and he's just trying to make his money for his family. Let's see how he comes on his verse. I came a long way from the bricks. I don't give a fuck. I'm making million dollar plays with this shit. Like, shit ain't like we about to hit a lick. We going in on the verse. We ain't going in on the bricks. Like, He's uh, you know, kind of defending Six Nine a little bit, defending himself, doing business with him, man. So he he's saying that he's speaking for himself and nobody else, man. What a I gotta eat and miss and business with the street. Come all a girlfriend and be one in the free million sound sweet. I gotta eat and miss and business with the street. Come all a girlfriend and be one in the free million sound sweet. Oh, you said so? Oh, you on red room? I got this Glocky on my ABC bed. Okay, okay. I like how they still made Yellen come in with the reggaeton vibe because, you know, he's been building such a big audience, big fan base over there. So, you know, they still get a little bit of that dose with the hip hop, man. Man, she may have came the best on this song, man. I, I, I'm not sure yet, but um, I'm feeling her verse, man. She got flow, man. So let's go. Okay, 
All right. Well, that's the song that, you know, went viral to see Kodak with 6 9 man. Uh, it was a real interesting song. I think it should have said featuring Tory Lanez because it really sounded like him there on the hook. But nonetheless, man, if you were a real big fan of these artists, I think you'll really enjoy this song, man. I think Yale and Maya had the best verse on it. I'm not too sure. So on the flame scale, I'm going to have to give this one a 6 and out of 10 just for the flames alone. Uh, we're going to see how the video changes my flame score, whether it goes up or down. All right, y'all. Thanks for checking out the video. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Thank you.